This video shows how to install the Python version of Moodle Code 2.2.1 uh, on Linux and show you how to uh, run a template user code file in Python. There are three steps. First, you install Python 3 on Linux, then install the editor Atom. Uh, after we do that, we'll run some Python code in Atom. After that, we'll install Mujoko and then run the template to Mujoko file in it. Okay, start step one. First, we'll install Python 3 on Linux. Uh, before you do that, you might want to check if you have uh, Python 3. For that, open terminal and type Python 3. Okay, here, if you do that and if you have Python, then you should show the portion of Python. Here it is 3.8.10, and it'll have this command prompt. So you can, for example, test. Then two plus three, and then fits five. So to quit this, you'll say quit, and then you're out of Python. Uh, if you don't have Python three, then you can install Python three in terminal by typing two commands. First, you type sudo apt update, and then you have to put your uh, root password, and then put sudo apt install Python, and you have Python. Now, once you have that, you can go back and check if uh, Python runs by doing this print two plus three. Next step is to install Atom, which is a text editor for Python. For that, what we'll do is we will go to a website, atom.io. atom.io, and you download the dev version. Once you download the dev version, it will copy down in your downloads folder. Double click that, it'll open an installer. Install the, the dev version. Once you install the Atom, you will have to open it. For that, you just go to Finder and then you type Atom and then you can right click and say add to favorites. So when you say add to favorites, it adds to the left side bar which I have here on the left. So once we have installed Atom, we need to install two packages. Uh, one of them is called language Python, the other is called script. So that open Atom. We can close all this. Go to packages, settings view, install package view, and here you type language Python. Okay, so that's the language Python. Uh, it should most likely be enabled, but if it's not, just enable it. So right now it is enabled, so you don't need to do anything. Second package we need is called script. For that, again, I search for script. And then again, scroll down and you'll see that you don't really see a script. So this is a bug in Atom. The package script was available earlier, now it is not available. So we will follow a different path to install script. What we'll do is open terminal and here type apn install script. And if you press enter, it will actually go find the package script and install it. Now I have done this before I made this video, so it's already installed. Uh, so I will not, I will, I will just move on because it's already installed for me. So ignore this because it's already been installed. So once you do this, we have to test if this atom works. So what you do is go to uh, atom, say file and file. And let's say print two plus three. Okay, and then save control S. Uh, let's save it on the desktop as test start file. Okay, now to run it, we go to packages. And if script is installed, and you'll see the script here, say run script. Note that there's a shortcut, control shift V. You don't want to go through this up. So just to run script. Now, you might see this, unable to run Python if you start Atom from command line. The problem is not that we did not start Atom from the terminal. The, the issue is that we have not really, um, we don't really have assigned Python 3 to Python in this particular, uh, in this particular Atom um, editor. So we do that, and once we link Python to Python 3, it'll actually work. So let's do that. So for that, what you need to do is, I'll go back to packages, install package themes, open config folder. 
go to packages, go to script, then go to lib, and that go to grammars, and to python.js. Here you need to make two changes. Uh, where you see command python, just change it to python 3. And then here, again, it's python, change it to python. Just two changes in these two places. Save that, control S, close, close, and then the again just close this. Okay, now I recommend closing atom and then open it again. So I'll close the windows we don't care about. Okay, now we can run it. So I remember it could either do package script, run script, or you could do control shift. Let's do run script here. And then you see that the answer is printed here, it's five. So now we've installed Atom and also linked Python 3 with it and so you see the output. Okay, so we've done all this. Now let's move on to the last step, which is installing Mujoko. To install Mujoko, go to terminal and type pip install Mujoko. Now I have already done this, so this may actually give an error, but let's see what happens. Yeah, this is already in source it's safe to kernel already satisfied. So we are we are all good. Now we need to test uh, Mujoko. So what I will do is I'll provide you with a file in the description. That file is uh, sorry, a folder that's called template Mujoko Python. What you need to do is open this template Mujoko Py in Atom so that you can uh, right click and open with Atom. It's right here. And then uh, we can do the packages script run or we can do control shift v. So I'm going to press control shift v. And then if everything works fine, you'll see a block or drop down a red flow. Now, after five seconds, this will stop because it's set the time to be five, but you can increase the time by saying increment 10, say, save it, control s, and then control shift v. So that'll stay for 10 seconds. Now in future, what we'll do is we'll take this template Mujoko Pi and modify it to do simulations. We'll also have uh, changed the model by changing this XML file and including it in this file. 